वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश फोर्टी टू सो स्टेटमेंट इज द टी बीम इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड एज शोन इफ द नेल्स कैन ईच सपोर्ट अ शेयर फोर्स ऑफ नाइन फिफ्टी पाउंड डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम शेयर फोर्स वी दैट कैन बीम सपोर्ट एंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग मैक्सिमम नेल स्पेसिंग एस टू द नियरेस्ट वन ओवर एट इंच द अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस फॉर वुड इज फोर फिफ्टी पी एस आई सो दिस इज द टी बीम कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाई वुड and having allowable shearing stress is 450 psi the nail these are the nails that are used to join this wood with this and the spacing between the nail is s clear we have to find the maximum shear force that can be applied on this beam and the nail spacing so let's start with the solution so we generally we all know that allowable shearing stress is equal to v into q max divide by i into t clear so we do not have v we do not have q max i and t so first we will find this so for i which is the property section for property property section property not property for property for section property for or section properties which mean i second moment of inertia will find i but we do not know the centroid of this so centroid of this for centroid we have formula for finding centroid centroid we have formula which is equal to y bar is equal to uh, sum of y dash into a divided by sum of area now you can see there are two uh, words so we will take this as 1 and this as 2 so what we will do we will for that we will get y bar is equal to y dash 1 into area 1 plus y dash 2 into a2 divided by sum of area which is a1 plus a2 so we will take this base as a reference so you have take base as a reference so what is y1 dash so y1 dash is distance from new uh, from base till the mid of this first section so this will be your y1 dash which you can see that this is y1 dash which is equal to this is 12 and this is 2 so 2 half is 1 inch so 12 plus 1 is 13 inch clear this is y1 dash and y what will be y2 y2 is the distance from neutral axis till the mid of second section so this is 12 so mid will be this one clear so y2 dash will be this distance y2 dash is 12 divided by 2 which is 6 inch okay so we will put the value y1 dash is 13 and what is the area of the first element so this is height is height is 2 and width is 12 so this area is 12 into 2 so i will write it 12 into 2 plus y2 dash which is 6 inch and what will be the area of second element so this is the area of second element its width is 2 inch and height is 12 inch so 12 into 2 divide by area a1 and a2 so a1 was 12 into 2 and area 2 was also 12 into 2 so when you solve this you will get the position of centroid from the base which comes out to be 9.5 inch it means that from the base its neutral axis will be 9.5 inch from the base because the neutral axis passes through centroid okay so this is your y dash y dash which is equal to 9.5 inch 
now what we will do is that we will find moment of inertia which is i and i is equal to by using parallel axis theorem it is equal to i dash plus a d square because there are two elements so it will be equal to i1 dash plus a1 d1 square plus i dash 2 plus a2 d2 square okay so if you further go so i1 1 is this element so it's i is 1 over 12 b h cube breadth is 12 and height is 2 so 2 plus area which is 12 into 2 and d square what is d square so d square is distance from neutral axis till mid of its first section so this is neutral axis and this is the mid of the first section clear so you can find this distance by subtracting uh, y dash from this 13 you can check it if you subtract this distance from this so you will get this d1 so i will write 13 minus 9.5 and it will be square plus i2 which is 1 over 12 this is the second portion its base is 2 and height is 12 so on 1 over 12 2 into height 12 cube plus area which is 2 into 12 2 into 12 into d2 square now d2 square is distance from neutral axis till the mid of second section so this is the distance and this can be found by subtracting 6 from this 9.5 so you will get this d2 so 6 minus uh, 9.5 minus 9.5 minus 6 whole square so when you solve this by using calculator you will get i will be equal to 884 inch power 4 so you have now the value of i which is the second moment of inertia now we'll find q max so q max you know that it is equal to y y max into area so wh what is y max so now you can see that one distance from neut maximum distance from the neutral axis so this one is the maximum distance clear and this is 9.5 and what is y minimum so y minimum is this distance so we can find y max is equal to uh, for, uh, y max q max is equal to y max into area so again you can see that we uh, we will focus on this area because this is the maximum distance and this is the area sorry this is not q y max y max q max is this is not this is y dash into a and maximum q maximum will be uh, we have this area so this area is maximum the, since the this maximum distance is this one so we will concentrate on this area so this area is 12 into uh 12 into 9.5 this one clear and i will first write the area area is uh, 2 into sorry 2 into 9.5 is the area and what is y dash so y dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this portion this portion so this mid can be obtained if you divide 9.5 divided by 2 which is 4.75 so you will multiply y dash is 4.75 so when you solve this you will get q max is 90.25 inch power 3 again here i will find q for this portion for the first portion as well because this will be the minimum clear so we will we say it to q q is y dash into a so here a dash because this nail 
this beam is obtained by joining these two wooden piece through this nail so this this area will be a and this the distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section is this one so area is 2 into 12 and what will be the distance so if i show you over here so this distance is y dash y dash you can say y dash y dash prime so correct it y dash prime okay so you can see that um, this is 9.5 and this total is this is 2 clear so 9 and total distance from the top till the this bottom this from this bottom till this top this total is 14 clear 14 so if you subtract 9.5 from 14 so it will be uh, 9.5 so 14 minus 9.5 will be this from top till this distance since we are interested to the mid so you have to further subtract 1 from this distance so that will be 3.5 i will repeat 14 minus 9.5 will give you 4.5 which is this distance 4.5 and again if you subtract one from because this distance is from the mid so 4.5 minus 1 will be 3.5 inch this is y dash prime clear so you will get q which is equal to 84 inch power q now what we will do is that you can see that maximum shearing stress occur at the point on neutral axis clear so where q is maximum so q is maximum over here so thickness is 2 so what we i will do is that we know that allowable shearing stress is equal to v into q max divided by i into t so v is not available allowable sharing stress is 450 psi so 450 is equal to v into q max is 90.25 divided by i which is 884 and thickness is 2 inch so from here you will get v is equal to 450 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 884 divided by 90.25 so you will get the shear force comes out to be maximum shear force come out, comes out to be 881 5.51 pounds or in term of kips it will be 8 8.82 8.82 kip kilo pounds so this is the maximum shear force that can be applied now for nail spacing second part is determine nail spacing so nail spacing we know that uh, allowable shear flow which is the horizontal shear force per unit length is equal to fh over s so fh is given in the statement which is 950 and s is not known one equation is this one and q allowable is also equal to v into q a divided by i why because you can say why we are taking q a because this is the junction between this and this so we will take q a so we will put the value uh, which is uh, v is equal to 881 5.5 pounds q a is 84 this is the value divided by i which is 884 let this is equation number two so equate equation two with equation equate equate one and two so you will get fh over s is equal to 
or you can also say fh is 950 so 950 over s is equal to 8815.5 multiply by 84 divide by 884 so from here you will get s will be equal to 950 multiply by 884 divide by 8815.5 into 84 which comes out to be 1.134 inch so s will be equal to 1 plus 1.1 1 plus 0.134 so in term of 1 over 8 inch 0.134 in term is near approximately equal to 1 over 8 so we can say that nail spacing is 1 1 over 8 which gives you this value which is the required value and this was all about this problem 7-42 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching